yeah it is uh it is a nice industry uh and community that's for sure um so yeah so when did you decide that you wanted to okay you, you you're modifying pedals and making pedals and experimenting with them where, where, when did you you first start actually selling them and having sort of like people inquiring and saying can you make me this can i buy this off you when did, when did all that start oh that would have been yeah, i guess it would have been a couple years after i started just building them you know friends of mine were like hey you know sheldon you you build these let's can you build something for me you know and i charge them a few bucks and a coffee kind of thing and you know basically to cover my costs and um and i took my kids to a concert a little a children's band concert uh some guys out of the uh, out of new orleans uh imagination movers and i saw what they had on stage you know because they play all their own instruments which i respect a lot you know and so i contacted that like they had zoom pedals and you know that's okay for you know beginners but i'm like you guys are professionals you should play like them so i contacted them and i built them some stuff and they ordered more and more mm -hmm. um and that was kind of when i was like hey you know this this is something that you know i don't know if i could make a living at but it's something you know you know maybe i should think about pursuing a little bit more mm -hmm. and then uh through some encouragement uh through robert keely uh I decided to take the jump, I guess it was about four years ago, you know, to kind of set up my own real business um, and, you know, actually start marketing, you know, trying to learn some of this marketing stuff, which I'm still learning. Yeah. So, I mean, you've mentioned Robert Keeley a few times now. Uh, yeah. I, I seem to recall you mentioned him uh, in our message communications previously. So what, what's your connection with Robert Keeley? Uh, I bought... His, his uh the first pedal keely pedal i bought was the dark side you know being a pink floyd fan and gilmore fan um and he just says you know kind of i guess a thank you uh i decided to send him one of my first tweed drives the you know not my well i built one for him but it was before I had, you know, it wasn't a finalized design. It was still, I cut my own board and everything. And I sent it to him. It had no printing on it. It was covered in tweed, but it had nothing. It was plain tweed. And I sent it to him, you know, as a thank you and to, you know, get his thoughts on it. And he's like, Sheldon, the only thing I can pick on this thing, you know, is I don't know what the knobs do. Um, you know, I can't, I don't know which is volume, which is tone, which is, you know, what, what this switch does. And so he's like, if you can find a UV printer, you know, get, try it, try it out on the tweet. It should stick. Um, and, but he's like, other than that, Sheldon, people need this pedal. Yeah. He's like this, you know, he's like, it's so it's amp like, you know, it gives you that tweety, like, like you cranked in a, a vintage, like, 5e3 yeah you know, it's like like clapton would do you know just dimed it right out and you know that's where he got the overdrive from so he, and he, he's like yeah the, this this is a pedal that people people need to hear so I, it was exciting you know having a guy that is like uh, way up here as far as i'm concerned you know pedal design you know, you know he could have picked every little thing apart and he you know he was very encouraging to a new guy like me who's just a hobbyist well, that's fantastic i i mean we'll get to talk about some of your pedals in a moment uh, and the tweed drive that you have it it is uh, it's lovely i mean it looks fantastic and to be fair you, you just have to look at it and it's instantly identifiable what it's going to do for you You're yeah. seeing it, it's it's just got that that kind of look so so when you go about designing uh, your own sort of pedals what What's the process? Where do you start? Um, I guess I start with a sound that I, it all stems to what I like. You know, so far, m most of the pedals I've done are things that I've liked. You know, take a circuit that, you know, sounds good, but it's not quite me. So I, I play around with it like, mo like most pedal builders are do. do. You, they find a, you know, a FUD space or whatever. It's like, well, I, you know, I like this general sound, but yeah, I'm going to, you know, 
change the tone of it. I'm going to change the, change this, change that, you know, um, you know, sit down, you know, plug in my, um, my breadboard and, you know, we'll see, okay, let's start ripping stuff out here. Let's build, uh, you know, build a circuit, try building a circuit from scratch and see where it goes. Um, you know, but really it starts with, with a sound like, you know, like the tweed drive, you know, it started with me listening to all sorts of uh, the vintage Fender, like the small combo amps. Yeah. And trying to get that sound. And that, that one, I mean, that was the first pedal I really kind of took on, it took on my own personality. Um, and, you know, just change it, but it took, you know, cause I had so little knowledge at the time. It took a couple of years for me to actually get that to where I wanted it. Even after uh, I sent that pedal to Keeley, uh, you know, I still worked on it for probably another six or eight months before I got it the way I wanted it. Wow. Very nice. I mean, I also ha had a job in there as well. So I, I wasn't just sitting in my home like eight hours a day. Well, oh, let's try this. You know, I, I work very slow sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so, I mean, with the, with regards to the, the, the pedals, then the effects that you've got within your range, I mean, you've got five effects and plus you do custom builds. So you've got, you, you've got the tweed drive. Yep. Uh, the Lumberjack, the yep. Aurora Dual Drive, yep. uh, the Northern Lights Boost, and the Rocky Mountain Fuzz. Is that correct? Are there any more that, that is, list? Yep, yeah, that's that's what is there right now, available now. The uh, Aurora, it, it, I'm changing it up. It, um, my whole dream with the, the, uh, the Tweed Drive initially was uh, to integrate a boost into it and uh, so when I put out the um, the northern lights um, it, it's essentially a treble boost but I I don't like treble boosts so I, I like a little bit more fuller range so I changed it up and I mean so many people have done it uh, done a treble boost so I just I tweak the tones like the mid and full range tones to, to what I like. Yeah. Uh, but my whole goal with that circuit was eventually to put it into one box. Um, and Can we see the artwork on that? Because I've, I've seen that it's got some really nice artwork as well. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Yeah. So where did the inspiration for that artwork come? Just, we're looking for names. My wife and I were talking about names, you know, trying to go with a little bit with a Canadian theme uh, because that, that's what a lot of a lot of my friends were saying you know so, well you're a, you're a diehard Canadian you know you, you should come up with some you know you should go with a Canadian theme lineup so I'm like well you know the tweed drive really isn't Canadian but um, you know just started going that way and you know came up you know i love the northern lights you know you, you see them at nighttime up and up north here and um uh, just started searching for pictures and that's you know i tweaked a few picture a picture of the way that i wanted it you know, enhance the colors a little bit to make it a little bit more vibrant and that's kind of what what you see now so it looks really nice uh, and it, you, a lot of your, your your other pedals they, they they've got the same sort of theme um, but I mean, it, the, the tweed drive itself um, is. Could you tell us a little bit more about that pedal and what it does and what circuit it might be based around? Or yeah, well, it's 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 based around the like a five e three amp, basically. Um, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, you know, change stuff. You know, you can't put like a bunch of tubes in a little little box here. Um, so yeah, I mean it's got the vo basic volume tone uh, drive. It's got the uh, the tube screamer uh, chip in it, but it is definitely it is not a tube screamer. Everybody's like, oh, is it based on a tube screamer? It's got the the the, the tube screamer chip in there. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> in fact, you know, be, being a, a, a Steve Ray fan, you know, people would think that I would love tube screamers. I actually hate them. That they'll probably get me some hate mail, but I, I don't. I I have one tube. I've had a bunch of tube screamers, and 
I have one sitting on my shelf and last time I used it, I used it as a mute switch. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. And then anyways, you know, it's, it's wrapped in actual tweed. It's not a print. It's actual tweed that I have yeah. glued on there. And, um, you know, then I have a uh, diode switch, you know, so it goes between kind of like what I originally designed it with and some LEDs, which uh, give it a little bit more, it gives a lot more high, high end or not high end, um, a volume boost, uh, which is where I, I call it, I turn the LED, LEDs on and I uh, crank the gain. And I, that I tell people is my uh, Neil Young sound. Pretty much every pedal I build of the tweed drive will, when I test it, it always gets the uh, rocking in the free world played <laughs> through it. And I'm like, if it plays Neil Young well, then I know it's, it's, it's right. So, um, and then there's just, uh, I also have a, a tone, a fat switch on it. Just yeah. to like, you know, if you're, you go from say like a Les Paul and, and you go from that to a Strat, you know, the Strat can be a little bit thin. So you flick the fat boost up. Basically it just, it adds a capacitor in there to just fill out the bottom end a little bit. So the Lumberjack um what what is about that pedal what what's what does that do oh it's um it's basically it's just uh, a, a very simple overdrive that i came up with uh a quad amp overdrive uh kind of a medium medium gain uh you know i've got some i it's got a switch on it that you know gives it a little bit more gain to it uh, a little bit more tone um but it's very simple layout. It's got like the volume and the drive knob. That's about it. And then the switch down here that like, gives you like kind of like a high gain, low gain. Yeah. And then uh, after after the overdrive, I, I've got uh, the octave effect, kind of a green ringer, modified green ringer effect. Um, which I mean, the when you you're playing the overdrive, you know, it's kind of your standard overdrive. But as soon as you kick in that 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 octave up, you know, it just, it just explodes. You know, you, you go from overdrive to pretty much almost a, a kind of a low gain fuzz. Um, so, nice. and the, the uh, two circuits in there are actually completely separate. I mean, it's not separate ins and outs, but uh, if you want just the overdrive, you can use the, the overdrive. If you want to say you have a fuzz face and you want to add an octave up to it, you can, you can switch on the octave oh, by what? itself. Oh, that's handy. I like so, that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I, you know, people pay so much for stuff like that for pedals. You know, I, I and I want people to be uh, want them to be versatile. That's my whole th thought. Is yeah, you know, I want people to use them. Yeah, um, use them for what they're they're meant for, but also, um, you know, to get their money's worth. Yeah, I you like know, that. You know, when I when I buy a pedal, you know, you know, I, I you know. I'm not a rich pedal maker, pedal builder. <laughs> uh, you know, so when I buy a pedal, you know, I want it to do, I want it to be versatile. And that's, that's why, you know, I, why I added the diode switch because not everybody will like, you know, the standard diode that I put into the tweed drive, you know, so we'll change it up. You'll give it a little bit more headroom on that switch. Um, Very nice. So. And the, um, the Aurora dual drive, what's all that about? Yeah. Sounds fantastic. That one, Came about, this was my dream basically for the tweed drive. Uh, so, I about a year ago, I think, or so, I did the the uh, Northern Lights, and then I almost shortly right after that, I started. I built a few custom pedals with like two the the two drives in there, um, but then finally I started working on full just one solid circuit board, so it's easy to drop in. And um, so it, it's essentially the tweed drive on this side, but I, I modified it. I figured, you know, I've got the boost coming in here and, you know, boost the overdrive. You're going to get the gain. So what I did, I modified the tweed drive to have more headroom. Was, yeah. so, it's a, so it's a little bit cleaner when you, when you turn up the gain, it's, it doesn't get as distorted, especially in the LED mode mode. Um, so you, you get it, it's a little bit cleaner, but definitely you know, it gets a lot more. It's a really full. 
and then you kick in the the travel boost like what you know they were designed for to you know to you know kick your amp in in the butt basically uh, it's just you know in my opinion that it was just magic when i when i first put the two circuits together um so and how long yeah, that, how long did it take you to create that and 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 from start to finish um i was i guess it would have been from you know when i started messing around with it just in one box uh, like the actual idea of combining the two together it probably would have been about about a year yeah yeah you know, i tried tried uh doing a three band eq in there as well but it was just there was so much going on in there and so much room for error for my small small brain um so I, I simplified it I, I, so that people could identify, you know, okay, this is the tweed drive, you know, instead of, you know, having a three band EQ going all the way across. And, um, but then the other thing I did, you know, showing the fact that I like versatility is I also put it in an AB, an order switch. So that, you know, if, if people are wanting, you know, they want the boost, but they want it after, you know, kind of as a solo boost, you know, they can have that option oh, of, wow. you know, of getting that volume boost. I mean, it's, you know, it's travel boost circuit. You know, it's going to add a bit of its own grit. It's not transparent, but, you know, I mean, I still, I personally always keep it uh, with the treble going in, the booster going into the Tweed drive. Cause I just like having that extra gain added to the, the circuit. So. Very nice. And the Rocky Mountain Fuzz, I think the name says it all, but it is. is uh, w what kind of fuzz circuit is it? It is. Well, uh, it was based around a, at that time, discontinued fuzz. The um, uh, Thorpe has just put it out, worked with the guys, uh, um, the big uh, the big cheese. Oh, yes. And I, I love that. You know, I listened to it. I wasn't, I was never able to get my hands on one. And... You know, so I'm like, well, what's in the circuit? So, so I started diving into it, and you know, I, I built my own, cut my own circuit board for it, and built it, and I'm like, well, let's play around with this a little bit. You know, let's, you know, there's a little bit of an octave, kind of a little pitch in one of the modes there, you know, where it really gates heavy, and I'm like, well, let's try and bring that out a little bit more, and um, and so I released this, but then all of a sudden I found out Thorpe was coming out with theirs and they worked with him and I'm like oh oh no so i mean i i love this you know i've tweaked it it's not like the two spec original like like the big cheese hmm. um so who knows i i have some of these left i may i may change it up um when when they're gone yeah um, not sure what i'm gonna do with it i i love this pedal it was the first fuzz that I played that I really enjoyed because, again, you know, it's so versatile with like the the four way switch. You know, you can get you know your mid scoop, your mid boost, your the gated, you know, or just kind of like almost like a fuzz face. You know, the tone knob is bypassed and you just the fuzz is what you get. You know, Very nice. uh, so it's based on that. Um, of course, you know, being a pedal builder and a tweaker, you, you can't leave well enough alone. Uh, but you know. Who knows where that one will go? I may simplify it, you know, take part of it and, you know, add it to a, a new fuzz pedal. Uh, 